I'm your host, T.J. Miller, with a clip-on, very short tie. Let's uh, invite our first and only contestant, Adam Kroll. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Adam, it's so great to have you on the show. So we all know the rules of the game. Uh, we're going to review three things uh, that might be problematic. And Adam, who does not know, you, no. you haven't seen even the questions, right. uh, he's going to tell us which one he thinks is problematic in the real world. So uh, these are real the, stories. Yes. Okay. And, right, right. We'll, we'll tell you what the answer was and tell you why. If Adam can get two correct, he wins. If he can't, we'll edit so that it looks like he wins. <laughs> okay. That's not true. That's not true. I, they wanted me to do that. I said, do not comply. I'm not going to comply. <laughs> okay, here we go. Adam Carolla. T.J. Miller. Which of these is problematic? Hmm. Greco-Roman wrestling, mm. Greek and Latin language requirements, or using Greek letters for virus variants. Adam Carolla, mm. what do you think? Hmm. Well, I don't know a lot about uh, Greco-Roman, but that's like the earliest sports and Olympics we're talking about um, marathons I think that's where that came from Greco's yeah. a Greek I Roman and I think they used to wrestle naked yep and maybe it's just mythology but I've always heard the first guy to get a boner lost <laughs> They wouldn't do it I by think, tapping out. I think I think that is the myth. That was the Greek myth <laughs> of boner loser. <clears throat> that was <laughs> I did not go to college, so I don't know anything about the uh, Greek alphabet. And I am kind of curious what this thing is doing here. I don't know. Am I supposed to be there? I got the feeling. <laughs> I just went, something. I just, out of sheer rote memory and habit, came to where I could get a drink. That's what I did. Uh, no, I didn't no. realize that I was supposed to be a tiny professor. I don't. <laughs> Look at this. I, I don't know. Maybe Nate knows what the... Have I... That's supposed to be your stand? I've, I've messed this up more than the previous guests, I think. <laughs> oh, on the way show. more. Oh, yeah. Nate, do you want, where do you want me to go? Okay, why? What then, is it? What yeah. is it? Then, then Adam is right. That's a prop why the for this f is this up here? What is going on? There, was there a tiny dwarf that was going to try and rape another dwarf? So, um, that's all I am is just callbacks to your act. That's yeah. all I care to do. So, what do you, which do you think it is? So, it's, a, it's the using the uh, Greek alphabet for the uh, virus. virus. Yeah, Greek and Latin language requirements, or Greco-Roman boner loser wrestling. I, I'm going with the uh, COVID answer. And why do you think? Why is that problematic? Well, I, uh, I, I did hear some story that they skipped over a couple letters because the Chinese minister, the Chinese president, his last name started with the first two letters. So there's already a little controversy because I think they skipped one. And it's, oh, it's, all, it's all COVID. I think I'm, just, I'm staying in the COVID lane here. Adam Carolla, you are wrong. Oh. Uh, didn't that sound like I was going to say right? It's no, but this what we're, what you're going to see is this is how bizarre the woke culture has gotten and how difficult it is to understand. The answer is Greek and Latin language requirements. Classics majors at Princeton University will no longer be required to learn Greek or Latin in order to combat institutional racism. According to the faculty, this effort was given new urgency by the events around race that occurred last summer. In April, faculty approved changes to the classics department, including the elimination of the classics track, which required an intermediate proficiency in Greek or Latin to enter the concentration. And there has been so much racism against Greek people oh, yeah. and against Latin X, Latin X. Oh. And so you don't have to know, they speak English, they speak Spanish, you don't have to know Latin. The Greeks. Which is the original language of Latinx. 
You know, my dear friend. <laughs> my dear friend Maria Menounos has to run serpentine to the mailbox because she is of Grecian descent. Yeah. And they're hunting them like wild dogs. All the time in they the go. Streets. Hey, hey, what, why don't you lose the R, you f***ing geek? <laughs> you Greek geek? They get a lot of that. Guys, I'm just going to just Can break. I just say this, though, TJ? We are doing this thing where we've decided that math is now racist. Like, we want to get rid of math test scores or standardized testing. We're now going to get rid of these languages because that's racist. Shouldn't we just flip over all the cards and pile ahead 10 years from now and just say learning stuff? is racist, because that's where we're heading, right? I mean, we're starting with trigonometry, we're getting into the Greek alphabet, but we're just heading into stuff at this point. I'm glad, I do believe what you're saying in the sense that eventually the only majors in college will be sort of racial injustice, yeah. and it'll just, everybody who goes to liberal arts school is gonna have to learn just about how everything is wrong, and I'm glad you brought that up, Adam, because your next question is, mm. Which of the following is problematic? Crossbows, mm. crossword puzzles, mm. or crossy roads? Mm. Oh, I guess I can't, I did something, I skipped ahead. <laughs> I skipped, I, this is organic, I'm improvising and I did that wrong. Mm. So, what I meant to say was, Adam. Mm. Yes. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up. Yes. 